Lots of confusion about the big Delta tunnels project. Today, the Trump administration said it will not help pay for those tunnels. The plan is for two 35-mile-long tunnels to divert part of the Sacramento River, supplying water to the South Bay, Central, and Southern California. But after the Fed said that they wouldn't pay for that, they said they are open to other options. KPI x Files Phil Mateer live in Oakley with what it all means. Phil? That's right. What those other options may be remains to be seen. But for the fishermen here at the Big Break Marina, if it means no tunnels, they're already ready to dance. Let's take a listen. I'm ecstatic. It do doesn't make sense to send that water down there. You just can't destroy other people's backyard. For the people of eastern Contra Costa County, the Delta is more than just a backyard. It's also their livelihood. As State Assemblyman Jim Fraser tells us. It's a way of life. It's uh, an economy, and if the Delta Tunnels were to go through, it would devastate the ecosystem. And I have farmers that utilize it for irrigation. It's drinking water. Fraser and others were also leery of the cost of the two tunnels. The governor estimated the cost at $16 billion, but Fraser and others who studied the project said it would cost more like $60 billion. Then conveying water for 40 miles in, in 40-foot tunnels. I'm a general contractor by trade. And this thing is, is just absolutely uh, mind-boggling, the effort that would it take to get it done. And Contra Costa County Supervisor Karen Mitchoff agrees. There are other things to do, such as storage, uh, groundwater recharging, desal, so many things we could be using this money for. Governor Brown, however, pushed on, in part because the tunnels had the backing of President Obama. The Interior Department had already spent $84 million. And until today, the tunnels also appeared to have the backing of new President Donald Trump as well. It's very odd, uh, especially when uh, candidate Trump came to the valley last year and said he wanted to provide more water for the farmers. And now? I'm thrilled. It's probably the only decision that president has made that I agree with. I've always said, let's give the man a chance. Well, that chance remains to be seen how far the president is going to go on this. We know the Trump administration it can go one way or the other. But for the residents of Contra Costa County and the fishermen here at the marina, they'll take what they get so far. Alan? So, Phil, can you clarify the feds will work specifically on the tunnels or will work in general to help California with the water problem? In general, and with the water to go from north to south. Now, I realize that the answer sometimes is about as clear as mud, but here's the real issue. The issue is the timing of this. This statement is coming out right when the governor is pushing hard to get water districts in the Central Valley and in Southern California to pony up that money to build it. And already one of the biggest water districts has said no, and last week the Santa Clara Water District said they'd only give a third of the $600 million that they want or are looking for. That's, they said they want one tunnel. Whatever the case, whether it's one tunnel or no tunnel, if it goes back to the drawing board, that could add two, three years to the project. And by then, Governor Brown is going to be ex-Governor Brown, and the fate of the tunnels could go with that title as well. Right. It, it's water and it's California. All right. Phil Mateer in, in Oakley. Thanks so much. That's a fighting combination, it, Alan. It is indeed. Always has been. Thanks.